Yeah, and it's and Duchenne muscular dystrophy um, formed the formed the the majority of the patients. Um, majority of the patients that I managed when I was in practice uh, suffered from this disease, and and you know to take people back to the landscape that it was uh, and still is. Um, these boys would um, would just would go through these series of changes where they lost abilities, lost the ability to walk, lost, increasingly lost the ability to use their arms, and ultimately became totally immobile. At the same time, the cardiac breathing, all these other domains, it totally destroyed, um, in, in destroyed their futures and impacted their lives, impacted their families' lives. Um, and, and you watched it progress and progress and continue continue over over years and years without really much to offer steroid the 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 imposition of steroids made a huge difference for some patients but it was a band-aid and not a, not really a cure adding to this um was uh, and, and remains a you know tremendous ignorance uh and ignorance on the behalf of physicians and the community um over the existence of these patients and, and how to diagnose these patients and you know, as we move to a world where I firmly believe we're going to be moving to, where there's therapies, I mean, we have gene therapies that are being approved, we have other therapies that are coming down the road. Um, it becomes so critical to identify these patients as soon as possible. These are these are boys who are affected at birth. They are diagnosable with a routine blood test, frankly, uh, almost at birth. Um, they are diagnosable through early symptoms if you're actually thinking about these diseases in the pediatrician's office in many cases. And it, it remains one of those immense tragedies that the diagnostic odyssey and the delays uh, in diagnosis remains so severe. And it's gone, the, but the world's changed. And so it's gone from a that's really too bad, it would have been nice to know earlier, to something that could potentially have. You know, cause you to miss a precious moment and opportunity to transform a child's life for the better. And so, you know, the, there's the, the importance of disease awareness it really can't be overstated. Um, being aware, aware as a, as a physician community, aware as, uh, from the standpoint of what we can intervene upon as, as public health, uh, from a public health perspective, uh, and just increasing awareness of the of, of the impact and the opportunity that we have at the current moment uh, for this disease and for many others in the neuromuscular space.